Welcome to another NFL Film Room presented by Lawrence Owen. And today we are going over the self-proclaimed number one wide receiver in the NFL, Devontae Adams. Now, there's not really much question over the past couple seasons. Devontae Adams has absolutely blown up over the course of the last few seasons. Uh, his route running has been exceptional. His hands has been fantastic. But is he really the number one wide receiver in the NFL? There's a few people out there that, you know, would would like to beg to differ on that. DeAndre Hopkins made an absolute fantastic catch in the end zone against the Buffalo Bills on a Hail Mary from Kyler Murray with three guys all over him. But Devontae Adams... He's proven so far this year outside earlier in the season when he had injuries and missed games that he is absolutely fantastic. Ten touchdowns on the season. Many of these touchdowns coming in a place where you don't expect, right? A lot of these, he's able to gain a lot of yards through the air and he's able to get touchdowns in way multiple different ways. So let's just stop talking about it. Let's get into the film room and actually see what in the world is Devontae Adams providing Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. Week two versus the Lions, Devontae Adams only had three receptions in this game. However, he puts an absolute clinic on how to run a route against the Detroit Lions on this play. Let's watch the play actually unfold. Right, here's Adams. Keep an eye on him. Watch what he does against this zone coverage. Oh, my God. Oh, excuse me. I'm, I'm on back here. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? No, he didn't get the catch on this play. But holy crap. He didn't get the catch because, quite frankly, Aaron Rodgers was under all kinds of pressure. Look how, right off the bat, he completely avoids any kind of bump here. Now, right here against the corner, the get off that he had was great. And I will show that. I will highlight that in a moment. But watch what he does at this corner right here. Right here, he's already 12 yards down the field. And he's supposed to run a post route. Watch what he does at this corner without losing any kind of speed, forward moment. Look at that, how he planted. Lost him. I mean, look at the separation he has on that corner now. Now, at this point, Rodgers could toss him the ball, but there's a safety right here. He he would have to launch the ball basically directly to the safety right now. Detroit plays this very, very well. But Adams lost his corner. He did his job. He did his job by losing his coverage man. Can't help that Detroit, even though they got a guy deep, Detroit is paying very close attention to Adams. They are playing over on him. They do not want him to have any kind of open field. So they're double covering, have a guy over the top and a guy on, uh, right on top of him. No deep passes for Mr. Devontae Adams this game. Rodgers, if we continue through this, as he, his, he looks, see, he wants him. He wants him. But now it's too late. Now he has to scramble out here because someone just got through the line. He broke through. He's getting ready to run back. This receiver right here notices that he's starting to scramble. At this point, at this point, if Rodgers actually throws this football down the sideline, it's a monster game. If he just threw this ball somewhere around here right now, instead of scrambling up for eight yards, if he just launches this about here, because of the way this receiver, there's no one here. And this guy's not going to be able to get over there in time with the cannon that, that Rodgers has. He just throws it along the sideline so that this corner here can't get to it. That's a monster play. I don't understand how Rodgers, who in my opinion sees the, sees the field as well as anybody in the NFL, could have missed this. Now, obviously, Adams, there's no possible way you can get it to Adams. He's got one, two, three guys, and then out here, you got a safety that could come up and get a pick. You can't do that. But, I mean, my goodness. You see it. You see it. 
But Adams, let's go back to his release off this. Holy cow. His release off the line on this play is unbelievable. Watch him. Watch what he does right here against this guy. It is ridiculous. He sees him. Now he plants. Cuts inside. Don't even get a real hand on him. And then over here, watch his plant. Watch his plant. He's setting him up. And then, bam, that foot goes into the ground. Separation happens. That's a clinic right there of route running. That is a clinic. I can't believe how good that he's able to go get separation and still be going down the field. He's 20 yards down. He's 25 yards downfield right now. 25 yards downfield and was able to make moves to get separation. Not his fault that Detroit just loves not letting him have the football because they understand. But that is that is absolutely gorgeous. Let's watch it again in actual full motion here. This is unbelievable. Watch, watch how he does. He's so smooth when he does it too. Watch his cut. Er, smooth. I mean smooth. You can't even tell he's making the cut. The, the, when he plants that outside foot, the cut back inside, and he does it perfectly as that corner turns his hips to go with him. He waited for that corner to turn his hips right there and cut back inside. And that's where the separation happens. Absolutely beautiful. Good one on you, Devontae. Good one on you. You're still here? Awesome. Thanks for watching this stream. Please, if you have a moment of your time, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so you're notified next time I go live. And if you got a few extra seconds, hit that description down there below the video and check out all the places that you can follow me, whether it be Sportscaster here on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and there's a couple places where you can help donate to my channel. That way I can continue to bring all this content to you. Thank you for your support. Now, let's get back to the video. Now on this play, Tampa Bay is going to play man coverage. Now I understand this is the very next game that Devontae Adam plays. This is week five against Tampa Bay. He suffered a hamstring in the Detroit Lions game. So three weeks later, he's able to play a game. Now, he's playing, Tampa's got man coverage, and you see the separation they're giving him, and they're like, my goodness, why ain't they up on him? Because he's so good off the line against man press that he will burn you, and he will burn you badly. So, I mean, you got to give him some separation. And as soon as LaFleur finds that this is man coverage or Aaron Rodgers, sees, hey, this is man coverage, you, you got to drag her out and you create issues right here with uh, different types of other routes with running backs and stuff. You got problems here. You create a traffic for the guy who's got so much sep separation off of Adams that Adams gets wide open. Let's watch this play, but <laughs> let's talk about the catch afterwards. Oh my goodness. All right, here we go. You see, now you've seen there was some movement. They brought Pete tight end over. Now watch, we're going to see more movement as the eye becomes offset. You bring a little bit more people over. You're create Aaron Rodgers is creating traffic here because all these guys are going to go this way. And that creates all this traffic. Great separation for Adams. Great catch. Able to stay on his feet, pick up 12 yards. That was beautiful. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. Now, watch how much separation this actually provides. Because he cuts in on this drag route right here. Look at all these guys here. He cannot come up on him. There are people in the way. He's a little bit late on the reaction. But look how much separation there is. And this is man coverage. 
you have to play in a way that you you can't do anything about this. If you got up on his face, they would have told him, you know what? It's man coverage. Go deep. So, you know, you can't do that. But in a situation like this, holy crap. Adams is wide open. Rodgers tries to lead him, even with pressure in his face. Throws it behind him slightly. Adams makes an amazing better angle to catch that. Better angle. Here we go. Here comes Adam across on this drag. Watch this catch. Rodgers sees him, throws the football. Now it looks like this is a good lead. But believe it or not, it's still a little high and a little behind him. Adams goes up. Look at this catch. First off, he gets some air to catch this football. And it's behind him. Now, any normal receiver who catches this football, whether there's no one on him or not, is going to probably go down after he gets gets this catch. Now, it's a first down. It's a first down, so that's fine. But watch how good Adams is able to. Look at that. Able to turn completely around, get his feet back under him, square, secure the football, and then sprint to gain extra yardage. That is gorgeous. That is an absolute gorgeous play. I can watch this play over and over and over multiple, multiple times. The next week they play against the Houston Texans. And this, remember what I told you? When you're playing man coverage, you do not want to be up in his face. Why is that? He's going to turn your cornerback around right off the get-off, right off the snap. You're going to get turned around, and Devontae Adams is going to burn you for 36 yards or more on the play. Right here, we're going to watch a crossing pattern, basically, where you got the outside your outside receivers, including Adams, right here at the bottom. They're going to crossing pattern right here. Adams is going to turn his corner all the way around with the takeoff right off the bat. Let's watch this play. This is beautiful. I mean, don't blink because you might miss it. And er, turn, gone. Oh, my goodness. You do not play man coverage on him. If you play man coverage, you're hurt. And if you do play man coverage, you don't want to be up this close. Watch what he does. Watch his little stutter step to the outside. Right there. Oh, no. You are already five yards separation from him. Oh, my goodness. This is, this is like catching fish in a barrel for Aaron Rodgers way out there. Devontae catches this football, turns up field. Gets pushed out of bounds, obviously. Saves a touchdown here for about one play. I mean, there's a touchdown on the very next play, but oh my goodness. What? I mean, the, just, this is exactly why you do not play right there. Look at that. Just a, a simple stutter step to the outside turns the corner around. Completely around. Look at that. And then he gets turned around. Oh my goodness. That's That's terrible. That is so terrible. And he, he, he's got more than just that in his arsenal. He's got all kinds of things to get off get off people off the line. It's just ridiculous how good Devontae Adams right off the line of scrimmage is. He can do so many things. And you have to, if you're going to play him like this, this safety needs to watch and come over here. He picks the wrong guy. He's got him, the safety, by far should have went that way. By far. He picks the wrong guy because Adams is wide open. Had he to, had he to went with Adams, Rodgers might not have had a guy to throw to because this guy here did not have much separation. The corner could have done something against the pass. This corner has absolutely no chance at all against this one. He realizes his mistakes as soon as Rodgers throws the football. He's like, oh, crap. I just screwed up. Man, I might be sitting on the bench in the next drive. This is, I just got completely and utterly fooled. All right, the very next game, you got Devontae Adams against the Minnesota Vikings. Three touchdowns, guys. Three touchdowns against the Minnesota Vikings. Now, it's odd because when you think 
Devontae Adams in touchdowns, you don't think short yardage. But all three of his touchdowns were within seven yards of the goal line. All three of them in this game. My goodness. Now, Harrison Smith, the all-pro strong safety for the Minnesota Vikings, is not playing in this game. But you have Josh Metellus, the rookie strong safety who backs him up one-on-one against Devontae Adams. (laughs) That's a matchup that Aaron Rodgers is going to light up every stinking time he sees it. And then Josh Metellus does not uh, help his case in this play. Let's watch. Right here. Dude, did you just try to wrap him up right at the goal line? Oh, my goodness. What were you thinking? What were you thinking? Oh, my This is something you watch. Aaron Rodgers is looking right at Devontae Adams the whole time. He wants to go to him immediately. He sees that Metellus is on him, and he's a rookie strong safety against one of the best, if not self-proclaimed, best wide receiver in the NFL. Oh, my. Now, right right here at the one-yard line, watch. He puts a move on him. Metellus just wraps him up. Rodgers sees it, knows, hey, you know what? This is a free play. You know, that that right there, that's a flag. That's coming out soon. I'm just going to throw this up and, you know, whatever happens, happens. So he launches the football up in the air. Metellus does do, to his credit, does a good job not falling down, closing back in on him, getting his arms up and trying to block this. But what a catch by Adams as the ball falls right by him. Watch it. Adams got his hands up. He's like, throw me the football. But Aaron Rodgers already knew, you know, ball's in the air. So Adams tracks it, turns around, looks for the football. He sees, hey, he's going up after the football. So he gets his arms right inside there. But Adams, even with the safety all over him, I mean, all over him right here, there is no separation. You can't be any closer than this. The only way you could be any closer to this is if Adams was piggybacking him. And I, I don't I don't think that was happening in the, on this play anyhow. Uh, I think they were hugging over here near the goal line. But right here, there's no piggyback going on. So, but darn near. So, Adams was able to, to track the ball right past. I mean, just past him to catch this. It's a beautiful catch. Reaches out. Catches it, brings it into his body, makes sure that his feet stayed in bounds. Touchdown. Three of them. One was from the one yard, one was from the three yard, and one was from the seven. That was beautiful. Devontae Adams just isn't a deep threat, people. Devontae Adams, no, because of his route running, he can catch him in short yarded situations. Let's move on to the next one. The next week. San Francisco 49ers, this is the game. This is the revenge game, right, from last year in the playoffs. And Adams goes off, 10 catches, 173 yards, and a touchdown. Now, in this play right here, Devontae Adams, it's a go route. Remember earlier I said, hey, you know, scared of him going deep for touchdowns? This is it right here. This is our eye formation. You know you got an extra tied in. So they're going to be clamping down here. Rodgers looking. You got a single high safety. One-on-one coverage with both his outside receivers. This is go route all written all over it. Let's watch the play. And they're off. Go downfield and... Oh my, what a catch. What a catch. Now, in this corners, it looks like he's playing bump and run coverage, right? Right here, really tight, whereas opposed, you're not seeing that over here. But looks tight, but it's deceiving. He's like, no, 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 no. I know I have really no, not much help over the top. I'm going to have to give Adams a little bit of space to cover this deep route if it happens. So he starts stepping back. Gives him a good five, six yards. Adams closes that fast. Rodgers looks, sees. Now, at this point, Rodgers sees 
the safety has to cover this guy because he went around the corner. If, if the safety don't stay over the tight end, he's going to the, he's going to the tight end. But the safety stayed over there to cover the top over the tight end. So he's got one on one with Devontae Adams. And right now, as Rodgers is throwing the football, the corners got the position on Adams, but he trusts Adams one on one against anybody. Against anybody. That's a matchup you want. So he just launches the ball up in the air. He's like, go get it, my guy. Go get it. Now, as the ball is falling, right here's the ball. Look, you can't get tighter coverage than that. They're taking up the same pixels on the screen. That's as tight a coverage as you could possibly have. But Adams does something wonderful here. You see how he's blocking him out with his body? He knows the ball is coming behind him. And the ball is so close. And yet he hasn't even turned around to catch the football yet. At the last second, he just turns around and catches the football. That was gorgeous. He led that corner. He led that corner inside because the corner wasn't looking back for the football. The corner is watching Adams. So Adams is pushing the corner inside so that the ball will come to his outside to give him better leverage against the football as it comes down for him. Then he pulls backwards. That back bend. He back bends to catch this football. Right there. Look at that. Oh, my good. The corner puts his hand out there to try to get his hands in, but there's really not a whole lot you could do. He, the corner plays this beautifully. This is highlight catch material for a touchdown. My goodness. That right there, that should be on the cover of Madden. That is ridiculous. Ridiculous. And that's why Aaron Rodgers is going to go to Devontae Adams every time when he sees a one-on-one. -on -one. It doesn't matter who's on him. It's hard to cover this. Bam. Touchdown, baby. No problem. All day. Again, another play. Seven yards outside the end zone. Week 10. Against who? Jacksonville. They survive. Jacksonville in this game. Devontae Adams has one touchdown in this game. Not a lot of yards, but he rolls his ankle just a few plays prior to this. And watch what Adams does here one-on-one. -on -one. He uses the play action himself. Not just the quarterback uses the play action. The wide receiver uses the play action. Because Adams does not block on running he does not block out there. That's one thing that you just don't see from him is he he won't block. He'll just kind of oh, la 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 just stand around while someone else has the football. Watch what he does on this play. He lulls this corner into a false sense of security. Then oh, I'm going out here. Yep, all by my yeah. Oh, that was a beautiful catch, by the way. But this this is gorgeous. Watch the play action. The ball gets snapped. And immediately, if you watch Aaron Rodgers, he's just lollygagging. Look. Aaron Rodgers has this football sitting here right on his side. That's, I know this is Devontae Adams, but watch Aaron Rodgers. Watch the football. Watch what he does with this football. And he just hides it right there. Switches hands. Hides the football on his side. Adam's still playing the play action. Like, hey, the running back has the football. Now, as soon as he sees that the, the running back stops for protection, what's he do? He's like, oh, he stopped. Now, let's, let's make this cut. Go back outside. Aaron Rodgers has been waiting on that cut. Throws the football. Goes up in the air. Are you kidding me? Look at that stretch. Look at the air. Look at the stretch. Look at the catch. The corner had no chance. None. Devontae Adams can catch those sky balls like anybody, as good as anyone in the NFL. Catches that football 
on a bad ankle, by the way, mind you, remember, bad ankle because he was out because of the ankle, catches it, comes down, boom. I don't know, man. I think him and LeBron would have had issues on who would have got higher on this play because even LeBron James might have had a hard time catching this alley-oop. That is a high football. And he's able to catch it with the bad ankle. Oh, my goodness. How in the world do you stop that? How? There's nothing you could do about that. And you want to know why Aaron Rodgers has no problem throwing uh, Hail Marys? Devontae Adams is going to outsky everybody. You've seen the uh, the Hopkins catch that Kyler Murray threw. Devontae Adams does that two or three times a year. Wow. What a reception. Now, if there's a knock on Devontae Adams, it's because he, he doesn't block. He doesn't block in the run game. He doesn't block when there's a pass out in front of him. If, a, if one of these guys even gets near him and there is a defender nearby that he could block and possibly give extra yardage, he won't do it. He'll just stand there. Well, let's, let's watch this play. Let's watch Devontae Adams. Watch him. He could have blocked here and got extra yardage for his guy. He's way deep. Catches. Now, at this point, Adams is standing. He could be blocking right here. He could have blocked. He seemed to catch. He sees the catch right here. He could have blocked at least the safety out or somebody. Somebody. But look, he just stands there jumping up and down like, go for it, buddy. Go for it. But he's not doing anything to help. You got to help your guys out once in a while. Especially in situations like that. Right here, Adams just standing. Everybody else is running towards trying to block out, except Adams. Except Adams. Adams just standing there. Look, even this guy's like, maybe I could get around in here. No, Adams just out of the way. Look, there's the safety, finishes him off. The safety was there to finish him off. And Adams just stood there, just kind of hopping up and down. Look, right here. Right here. Now, 24 comes in. Here's 33. He could be looking around right now for somebody to block. He could have blocked him out. He could have blocked him out. No, he just stands there. He doesn't even try. He gets out of the way. He's like, no, 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 don't touch me. What? The one thing, the one thing about Devontae Adams' game that I don't like, he's not physical when it comes to helping his other teams out. When it comes to blocking, that's the only thing I have found about his game that I do not like. I wish, I absolutely wish that I would have seen at least a few plays where he goes out there and tries to help. But they're so very few and far between. This is the kind of thing that you see on a consistent basis from Adams. If he went out there and helped block other guys, He'd have more big plays. So as you can see, as a wide receiver, Devontae Adams has a ton of tools in his tool belt in order to go out there and just perform really well week in and week out for Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. Is he the number one wide receiver in the NFL? I would love to give him top three. I think right now, right now, he is playing top three. If he would go out there and just show a little bit of effort blocking for his teammates when he doesn't have the football, I would put him at number one. I've seen uh, Julio Jones go out there and block people. I've seen Mike Evans block people. I've seen DeAndre Hopkins block people. But Devontae Adams just doesn't do it. Now, he's got an amazing catch radius. He's able to catch balls with guys draped all over him. He's amazing coming off the line at the snap, 
unable to really uh, be pushed down when people are trying to man press him. Um, his his route running is exceptional, and any team in the NFL would absolutely love to have Devonte Adams on their team. Any team, even with the fact that he doesn't like to block, that's fine, because you know he's going to go out there and put all of his effort in catching the football for your quarterback, and he knows how to use screens he knows how to use rubs he knows how to use traffic to get open he's an amazing player and he absolutely deserves all the recognition that he is getting right now currently uh in the nfl i want to thank everybody who sat here and watched this stream if you enjoy it please smash the like button that way more people will see this if you enjoy it that much please subscribe follow me that way you're notified next time i go live for other film rooms and other content that i bring out on a daily basis and don't forget please if you have a social media facebook twitter instagram whatever doesn't matter reddit feel free i implore you spread this out let people know that you enjoyed this video and that you think other people should see it as well. If you're a huge Devonte Adams fan, sharing this not only helps me but helps your team. Let other people understand, hey, just because Aaron Rodgers is throwing the football doesn't mean that Devonte Adams is overrated. He is underrated in my opinion, and it just happens that Aaron Rodgers is throwing him the football. So thank you so much for sharing, liking, subscribing. Appreciate that. And until next time, as usual, I'm Lawrence Owen for my film room breakdown. This time, Devontae Adams. Have a good one. Just because a guy's a player is not a household name doesn't mean we can't make him a household name.